What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sections to once again and today we are going to be having a look at the section we are also using in our demo store of Section Store itself. It is called Bento Grid and it has a lot of really nice ways you can use it. There's a lot of variety you have in this section so I will show you what I came up with today so you can even include GIFs so this is a nice way definitely to use this section pretty high quality and you still have a lot of customization options and I'm gonna jump right into it and give you a brief overview of how I did this. So yeah, let's uh, get right into it and the section I used for it is called Bento Grid. You can get this inside the Section Store app I got from the Shopify App Store. It's a component library with over 200 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components and this is the one I will be having a look at today. Like I said already, name is Bento Grid and the app itself is a non-subscription app but of course we do have to charge a little fee for our sections because there's a lot of work into them and this one does come with a one-time fee of nine dollars but that means if you bought it once you're also going to own it forever you don't have to hire an expensive developer it's going to save you a lot of time if you just get it like this and you still have all the customization options in the world so yeah here you can see the section a bunch of different use cases how you can actually include this so yeah that is the two ones we already saw and after successfully getting the section just head back to the my sections area of the app where you can find a collection of all the sections you're already owning because we have to do one last thing before we can actually use it Let's set this load up real quick here we have it we have to add it to the theme we're using and in my case it is the dawn live theme you can see this is the one I'm using. I already installed it to that one, but it does work on every theme, so don't worry about that. Then simply customize it in the theme editor. I've already opened up this one. This is the one you saw in the beginning of the video. If you want to start completely from scratch, just click on Add Section, type in Bento Grid, and you're going to end up with something looking similar to this. So this will be the, the base version, and I'm going to show you what I did with mine to make it look like how it looks right now. So here you can see the blocks of it. So if I click on one of the blocks, you can see here you have all the content inside. You can decide how much space it's actually taking up. If I would do two columns right here, you could see this would break under. So it always consists out of four columns and that added together is gonna build a whole column row. So here you can see if I wanted to take up more column space, more row space, sorry for that, it would end up looking like this. So this is a nice way how you can decide how big the whole thing is going to be and then kind of puzzle it together to make it look nice. All right, rest of the content is going to be a heading. Also, of course, the description of it. And surely we want to add a little image as well to the whole thing. And that is the one I used. I'm just going to show you in my library how my GIFs are looking like. There's a lot of libraries out there where you can get them from or just simply find one yourself or get a designer to make one for you. I think that is up to you at the end of the day, but you can also just include normal images. So don't worry about that. And this is pretty much what I did to all the blocks right here. Simply made them fit in a row in there. And then here are a bunch more customization options. And I added a little border color to this one. You can also change everything inside the section. So if I would want that headline to be blue, I could do that as well. So you have a lot of customizations with the blocks itself, but now I'm gonna show you how you can do customizations to the whole thing itself. So if I click on the main, sorry, wrong section. If I click on the main block itself, there's gonna be a lot of customization options as well. So if I would want six columns in a row, that would also work. So now I can decide on the blocks, it has to be six now. So we're gonna switch back to four because I do think it looks a bit more spacious like that and the sections have a bit more room to breathe and here we can also decide how much padding the whole things have vertical so this is going down a little bit it's all going to be a bit more spacious like that but yeah i'm not going to waste your time too much at the end of the day you want to customize it to your likings and your brand identity here we could technically change the background as well i'm just giving you a really random example if i would want to switch it to green let's just save it all up and have a final look at it in the live version which we do have right here. And I'm simply gonna click on this one, give this one a little reload, and here we have it already. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. With that being said, have a good one and peace out.